quite a sight today in the middle of Charlottetown this morning. Potato trucks rolling down University Avenue. They were carrying half a million pounds of fresh spuds that could not get to the United States because of a ban put in place in November. We'll have more on the convoy in just a moment, but first, news of compensation package from Ottawa worth millions. Brian Higgins has more. All four island MPs were in on the video call today with Federal Agriculture Minister Marie-Claude Bibeau in Ottawa. She announced $28 million for island farmers. With it, potatoes will be trucked to food banks across Canada. They'll seek out new export markets other than the U.S. And some of those funds will be used for disposal of perfectly good island potatoes. Destruction of potatoes is what happened last time the U.S. border was closed because of potato wart, and it may happen again this winter. PEI has more potatoes than food banks across Canada can use. New export markets can take years to develop. With today's announcement, the Agriculture Minister acknowledges a lot of PEI potatoes may go to waste. We brought together this emergency support quickly because we know farmers need answers about what they should do with their surplus product. And we understand any necessary disposal must be done during the cold season. The fact is, the U.S. will not accept shipments of fresh potatoes until they have the scientific reassurances they need. The Canadian Food Inspection Agency has said collection of soil samples to address U.S. concerns could take until 2023. Island farmers say financial aid will help but it's not the news they were hoping for. Sounds like it's a good first step, but at the end of the day, we need the border open. There's no reason why it can't be open, and it needs to get open ASAP. Ottawa also announced it will extend deadlines for existing farm assistance programs. Here's what PEI's Premier had to say about today's announcement. These types of creative solutions are exactly what we need. We need to immediately focus on ensuring CFIA collects the necessary soil samples, and focus on reassuring the USA that our management plan is the gold standard. The PEI Potato Board has said the export ban is costing island farmers $2 million a week. The boat says she'll talk to the board later this week about getting this $28 million aid package rolling. Brian Higgins, CBC News, Charlottetown. Okay, back to those truckloads of potatoes making their way down the streets of Charlottetown today. The goal was to raise awareness about the impact of the ex export ban. Nancy Russell was there. The convoy started at the Charlottetown Mall, 16 of the trucks loaded with potatoes. A visual reminder of what is at stake for many taking part today. The PEI Potato Board says the export ban has blocked the sale of more than 12 million kilograms or 27 million pounds of potatoes so far. A loss of more than 11 million dollars to the island economy. Well, we had to lay off a few crew and a lot of our very expensive packaging equipment is just sitting there idle and we're not ordering packaging or you know keeping truckers busy. Everything's just quiet. It's kind of eerie. Three members of the Hayden family were driving in today's convoy, happy for a chance to raise awareness about the crisis. It was touching to see the support from people we drove by on the sidewalks. They seemed to be waving and, and supportive to us, and the horns were all blasting on the trucks too. For the Haydens, as for many island growers, there are more challenging days ahead. They say the longer the U.S. border remains closed, the more potatoes they won't be able to sell and may need to be destroyed. You kind of go to bed thinking about it, you wake up thinking about it, and the uncertainty of it, you just don't know, and you can't make any plans going into the spring at this point in time. The Haydens say it feels good to see support from other islanders who feel a connection to the potato industry, trucking companies, farm equipment dealers, fuel companies, many of them also feeling the impact of the border closure but none more than the growers. There's uh, despair, there's, uh, you know, it's, it's taking an emotional toll, and that's being shown on the uh, on the farmer's helpline, like the numbers are up there. It's, it's taking a major toll. Growers here today say it feels good to have this show of solidarity, but they also know time is running out. We're going into January facing the prospect of dumping 
you know, millions and millions of pounds of potatoes. And like I said, I remember doing that years ago. My sons don't, but uh, it's, it's not something we're looking forward to. With the rally over, the Haydens and others head back to their farms, to warehouses full of potatoes, and an uncertain future. Nancy Russell, CBC News, Charlottetown.